All right, I'm excited. I finally got this all set up. I replaced a Gen 2 with a Gen 3 wall connector here coming down from the basement from a sub panel. So those two are both going to independent 60 amp circuits in a sub panel. That sub panel has a 100 amp breaker from the main, uh, the main uh, breakers. So it's capable of 80 amps, which is 80% of the 100, which means if I have that one, and you can see the other one kind of comes around and goes over here to the back wall, and I have kind of a hanging rig, I'll show you that in a minute. But if one car is plugged in, they can charge at 48 amps, which is the 80% of the 60 amp breaker that they're both on. And so let's show you that. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this plug. Come on, oops. All right, we're gonna push that in. So we're gonna come around here. <clears throat> we're gonna look at the screen. I'm gonna zoom in for you. So you can see we got zero out of 48 amps because the one is plugged in. Now, if I follow this other one, which comes down over here, kind of runs along that line and you can see it's just magnetically stuck up on here. So if I grab that, you can see I just put a magnet there and I put another one because if it's next to it, it uh, on this side, it, it holds it nice and tight up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that off. It has a little pulley system here. So I can pull this down right to where I need it. <clears throat> so as soon as that one goes in, just open the, uh, the Model 3 here. So you can see the Model 3, if I zoom in, is at, well, I don't know why it's at 41, that's weird. Uh, and this guy is at 39. That's interesting. I wonder if it's because this other one is at a lower state of charge, but you can see it's not going to exceed, uh, it's not going to exceed 80 amps, or it's not supposed to, because I have the max network set to 80. So now this one dropped down to 38. So you can see they're kind of playing in tandem with each other, 38 and 42. I'm not sure why, uh, why one goes to 42 and one to 38, but as long as they are never going over a combined 80 amps, which is a 80% uh, uh, of that 100 amp breaker that the sub panel has access to, uh, we are good to go. And I'm gonna change these back to charge to 80% instead of 90, which I said it just for this video. So I hope that helps. That is power sharing on the Gen 3 wall connectors.